American Pratinithi Dollar Pradhan, Dr. Tonya L. Watson. Ms. Tonya, welcome to our studio. Thank you. Uh, we will talk to you about your uh, experiences in Bangladesh, but uh, before that, we will watch one uh, report. Dorsha Kamra Act of Protivedan Dekhenevo, Kulnathake Protivedan Ti Pathi Echen, Rofiul Islam Tutul. Bangladesh Manusher Jibon Man, Shika Babusta Shoh, Krishika Jer Madhome, Jibon Daran Poduti Jante, Charjon Markin Nagurik Desher, Bibino Elaka, Sofor Korchen, Kunai, Shorajomin Gure, Protiti Bishoy, Darun Mukto Tara. No welcome, we've experienced everywhere. Uh, also, the quality of the people is very impressive. Because um, the people are amazing, they're very sweet, everyone's been very kind to us. You don't get this kind of hospitality in the States anymore, unfortunately. प्रथम बारे में तो देखा ग्रामीण जीवन में बस था बांग्लादेश के प्रति आक्रिष्ट करें चाहे तादेव। Never seen a rice field, so it's been it's all new to me. The children are kub shindor. Uh, we love the people. Uh, the country is extremely beautiful, and Kolna is my favorite place. हर इशाब का जे तादेव शार्बिक शोजुगीता करें चाहे रोटरी स्थानीय कर्मकर्तारा तारा बोले चाहे उन्नो तो देश गुले शाथे ओबीगोता बिनीमायर माध्यमे देश के एगिए नीते ही ए प्रोसेस्टा तादेव দেখেনে শিক্ষা প্রকল্প দেখেছে এরা কৃষি প্রকল্প দেখছে এখন এবং আমাদের বিভিন্ন রোটারি ক্লাবের মিটিং এ তারা যাচ্ছে প্লাস এই দেশের যে সাধারণ জীবনযাত্রা সেটা সম্বন্ধে তারা জানছে এগুলো তারা তাদের দেশে যে শেয়ার করবে রফিল ইসলাম টুটুল দিগন্ত টেলিভিশন খুলনা প্রতিবেদনটি দেখলাম মিস টনিয়া দিস ইজ ইওর আই থিং দিস ইজ ইওর ফার্স্ট ভিজিট টু বাংলাদেশ ইউ हैव অলরেডি ভিজিটেড সাম আরবান এন্ড রুরাল এরিয়াস অফ বাংলাদেশ এন্ড ইউ हैव ইন্টারঅ্যাকশন উইথ বাংলাদেশি এন্টারপ্রেনিয়ারস হাউ আর দে ডুইং ওয়েল ইয়েস অন বিহাফ অফ রোটারি উই হ্যাভ বিন এবল টু ভিজিট আ ওয়াইড রেঞ্জ অফ places and businesses and I can honestly say that uh, the entrepreneurs here are phenomenal. Um, we've met some that uh, just in very short periods of time have grown their businesses tremendously and another thing, uh, another aspect of their business acumen is that they're, they're so able to diversify. So. One person that we met in Kulna has um, a bricklaying factory next door to um, a jute mill, next door to a seafood processing plant, and he started them all. And uh, so I just I think that that's uh, very individual, and I, I don't think we see that as much, um, certainly not in the U.S. Uh, there are some small entrepreneurs, especially uh, women entrepreneurs, uh, starts from zero. You mentioned also, and uh, I mean uh, they have no capital, uh, they have no experiences, but they are uh, doing well. Many unemployed people are also inspired from them for uh, self-employment. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what is your impression about this type of uh, small entrepreneurs? Well, certainly, I mean they're the most impressive of all when they start from nothing and. And as you know, many of the villagers, when we say nothing, we mean nothing. <laughs> um, so it's, it's just um, a, I don't know, astounding how much they can do with so little, um, especially some of the women. Um, I'm, I've been very inspired by some of them who have just been given a little chance for the first time, for, for many of them, for the first time in their lives, and, um, and they make something out of it. It's, it's really inspiring. Uh, do you feel that uh, their business activities can uh, play an important role uh, to our economic development? Absolutely. Um, I know that uh, you know your, some of your biggest industries are agriculture and the garment industry, and, and the garment industry um, is um, not totally, but very dependent upon women. And um, and I've, we were able to uh, tour some large garment um, factories, but I also understand that there are some smaller scale ones that entrepreneurs are doing for uh, smaller designers. So yes, uh, th they definitely can make an impact and maybe help diversify the economy of the whole country. Uh, you also visited uh, some agricultural farms in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your experience about uh, Bangladeshi agricultural system? Yes, we uh, just yesterday we visited, um, or day before, <laughs> all my days are running together, but we visited um, a, a BRAC uh, site in Kulna and uh, it was uh, uh, 
very, very impressive. Uh, they had uh, subdivided a very large um, area of land into, I think it was 41 separate um, plots. And then each, uh, each plot was owned and maintained by a separate farmer. And uh, they, were, they uh, were so proud of what they were doing. And, um, and I was very encouraged, again, getting back to the, the woman, uh, female point, that um, over half of those plots in that particular project, and I understand there are many across the country, but uh, that over half of them were owned by women. Um, uh, I think uh, U.S. agricultural system is more technology based, but uh, in our country, a uh, high technology is absent and uh, uh, it is mostly manual in uh, our country. What is your opinion regarding uh, this uh, system? Um, yes, and I'm, I, I should say that I'm not an agricultural ex um, expert here, but um, certainly there, uh, I, I definitely see that in the U.S. Um, we use a lot more technology in, the, in farming. We went into and drove by many villages that were um, doing things by hand and maybe just one or two workers at a time. So um, in Bangladesh, certainly the farming, even though it's an incredibly large sector, it's your, as I understand it, it's the largest economic driver for your uh, economy. Um, it, even with that, it's, it's driven by very human and animal labor intensive processes. And uh, like in the U.S., we obviously use a lot more technology. So we, again, and th this is one of the themes I think I'm getting from my visit here is that um, Bangladeshis do so much with so little. Uh, we you, uh, have also observed the lifestyle of our uh, farmers, uh, especially small farmers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do you feel about our farmers, their lifestyle? Uh, yes, well, um, yes, as part of um, our rotary tours, we um, uh, visited some um, rotary sponsored uh, homes and they were gracious enough to let us go in. and. Uh, they're very simple, <laughs> very low tech, like no tech <laughs> in some cases, but you know they were they were all very clean and they seemed very proud to show us what they had, and and, and quite frankly, as a as a traveler, it made me feel very very blessed <laughs> for what I have um, and what I take for granted because most of those people don't have much at all. But they were all smiling and the children were happy and playing and it, it just lifts your heart. Yeah, but thank you. You have also visited some educational institutions. You are also a teacher mm -hmm. um, and you talk to um, our teachers and our students. What is your experience about our educational system in uh, our country? Mm -hmm. Um, yes, I teach at the university level, but we did visit several uh, Rotary-sponsored schools in, the, in different uh, divisions, and uh, it's uh, one of the things that uh, came across the, the most was, first of all, how adorable every single child is. Somehow the Bangladeshi children are just beautiful children, and then they were so well behaved. They sang to us. and read to us and recited and um, the teachers w were just in complete control. Everything was very quiet and um, I have to admit I've been in some U.S. schools where that's not the case. So it was just very nice to see that everything was impeccably clean, the children were dressed appropriately and um, it, I was very impressed. Uh, did you doing. find any difference uh, between uh, the students of our country and your country, teachers of our country and your country? Any difference did you find? Um, well, I think you know, good teachers are good teachers. I mean, there's a there's a core element that makes you a good teacher. You know, caring and and uh, empathy and compassion. Um, I certainly got that from the teachers that we were, we met, um, but I also got that uh, the students um, definitely respected their stu um, their teachers, and uh, they again very well disciplined. So I I mean all good. I mean it was uh, only positive remarks about our school visits. Hey, any difference between uh, teaching system 
uh, of uh, teachers teaching system in your country and uh, our country yes I think it, going back to and uh, akin to what we said about agriculture um, in the US we are very technology um, technologically based and so if you go into a classroom today in the US I mean almost any level there are computers everywhere everything's wired I mean even preschoolers will have an iPad or some kind of tablet and so they're they're you know hooked up to the computers almost from the beginning whereas especially in some of the poor villages in Bangladesh they don't have that opportunity and so you know they're working with in some cases there was a little chalkboard and um, maybe you know very old and worn books and uh, so yes th there's a difference there but even though the classes the classrooms were very Spartan um, they, they it seemed like they were doing very well in them uh, uh, we'll talk uh, more after a short break okay okay uh, we are back আবার স্বাগত উন্নয়ন বাণিজ্য সংবাদে সাথে আছে আমি খান মোহাম্মদ সালেক আমরা কথা বলছি ডক্টর টনিয়া এল ওয়াটসনের সাথে যিনি বাংলাদেশ সফর করছেন এবং এই অভিজ্ঞতাকে তিনি আমেরিকার নাগরিকদের মাঝে পৌঁছে দিতে চান মিস টনিয়া ইউ আর রোটারিয়ান এন্ড ইউ আর ইন বাংলাদেশ আন্ডার জিএসসি প্রোগ্রাম এন্ড ইউ অলসো ভিজিটেড সাম রোটারি ক্লাবস এক্সচেঞ্জড ভিউজ উইথ সাম রোটারিয়ানস ইন বাংলাদেশ হোয়াট ইজ ইউর ফিলিং অ্যাবাউট বাংলাদেশি রোটারি ক্লাবস ওয়াল ফার্স্ট আই ওয়ান্ট মেনশন দ্য রোটারি ইন্টারন্যাশনালস signature project for over the last 25 years polio plus yeah polio plus that um, campaign and that ongoing program has been incredibly successful in Bangladesh in fact um, under um, Mr. Amal's direction um, Bangladesh was declared polio free completely free in the year 2000 so yeah. quite an undertaking and we're down to of all the countries in the world we're down to just three countries so we're really this close to eradicating that awful disease from our planet um, so that's uh, I'm very proud of that and then um, also because we did get to already have visited many rotary projects I am um, just overwhelmed with the uh, level and the scale of the projects these Rotarians are model Rotarians um, truly they can serve as role models for the rest of us um, and I'm going back and telling my, my folks that um, they're just so active and they're making a true difference in their communities in, um, in the whole country. I, I'm, I can't, to say that I'm impressed is an understatement. Hey, but there are some uh, more programs of Rotary Clubs in our country. Uh, do you feel that uh, these activities uh, of Rotary Clubs are optimistic? I would say yes, they are optimistic or they wouldn't be so active. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, in talking with Rotarians, we've been visiting clubs and, and visiting with the Rotarians. Um, there's you know constant ideas for new projects, for expanding the old projects, for um, copying projects from another place, and that, that has been successful. So yes, I think they're very optimistic. Uh, would you please say something about the activities of Rotary Club in USA? Yes, um, Rotary worldwide. Well, I mean, it's a very large. It's the world's largest um, service uh, organization. It's 1.3 million members in over 200 countries, and so 
you can imagine that um, you know this is a large organization, but with all those members and all the um, clubs, um, each club focuses on its own community needs. Yeah. So it might be a little different. Like my particular club in Flagstaff, Arizona, does a lot of things. We work at a, a local food center. We um, give dictionaries to children each year. We give money grants to local NGOs. Um, we work on public parks. Um, it, it, you name it, it probably it has been or is being done by a Rotary Club. I want to know a different issue. Uh, U.S. is an uh, immigrant country and uh, the many Bangladeshi people are living in your country. Mm -hmm. uh, how are Bangladeshi people in U.S.? Well, in Arizona, we don't have the concentration that I know exists in some other parts of the country in, in the U.S., like New York and L.A. and Apparently there's a, a large contingent in the, uh, Texas, in the state of Texas, and then up in Toronto. Um, we certainly do have some. Um, I think particularly they come as university students yeah, yeah. And, uh, and get their education there. And then I think a lot of, most of the time they go back. Uh, did you get any Bangladeshi student in your life be as a, you are a, a teacher? Um, Yes, I think I, th I think I have. I've been teaching for about 16 years, but um, yes, um, and I was telling someone earlier that I, I really, when I go into the classroom for the first time on that first day or first evening, um, I really like to see the um, South Asian faces because I can pretty much count on them being very good students. They're very serious students, and I think because English is often their second language, they really work hard, and they're good students. Uh, did you get any businessman, Bangladeshi businessman in your uh, Arizona? Um, I know there are. This is uh, interestingly enough. I haven't met any in Arizona, but while in Bangladesh, I've met some that some Bangladeshi men who do go to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so we had to come halfway around the world to meet them. But uh, we already have plans to, to get together when they work in Arizona. But yes, apparently um, the export trade, in, export and import um, trade with Bangladesh and U.S. takes place a good bit within, within the state of Arizona. You have been staying in Bangladesh for more than two weeks. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in Bangladesh? Oh, well, I, <laughs> tremendous. Um, first, I want to say um, thank you to our Rotary District Governor, um, Dr. Istiak Zaman. He, the whole, the whole reason we're here to begin with through the GSE program is he extended an invitation. And I want to say thank you for that. It, our team has just been so, we're, we're, we're in love with Bangladesh. Uh, I mean, we've had such a good time. Your people are so gracious and so hospitable and so welcoming. Um, I've been uh, blessed to uh, be able to travel to a lot. I, this is my 54th country, and I can honestly say that the Bangladeshi people are among the friendliest people uh, anywhere. Uh, anywhere uh, you are not, uh, you, all the members of your uh, team are not uh, staying in any hotel. You are uh, staying with the Bangladeshi families. How mm -hmm. is Bangladeshi family life? It's, it's interesting. I'm, I, I'm so glad. I think that's a, one of the great advantages of the GSE program is that we don't stay in hotels. We stay with real families. So, you know, um, we may get woken up by the baby crying. Um, my, my family now has a, a lovely little daughter and she tags along with me everywhere I go. <laughs> <And> <laughs> what about Bangladeshi food, especially Bangladeshi spicy, hot spicy food? Oh, I am perfect <laughs> for Bangladesh. I love spicy food, so this is great. And it's funny because the Bangladeshi people say, oh, no, 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 that's spicy, that's spicy. And I say, <laughs> I like it, I like it. So I love Bangladeshi food. I love the um, prawn malau, uh, malai, Curry. Malai curry. Malai curry, yes. Malai curry. And the palang shak. Palang shak. Palang shak. And the misty doi. Misty doi. Yeah. Oh. That's good. That's uh, good to uh, end. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, and uh, what message you are carrying for uh, from Bangladesh for your people? Um, in short, the message is Americans come visit Bangladesh. Um, it is a great place to visit, especially now because foreigners aren't all that common and we get treated like celebrities <laughs> wherever we go and um, it's, it's just such a welcoming 
um, culture and we've just enjoyed it thoroughly and uh, and you really are role models in many ways and, and inspirational in many ways uh, thank you miss tonia very much uh, for joining us and giving some uh, valuable times to us thank you again kotha bolchilam gsc karmasuchir odhine bangladesh safarroto american protinidhi daler pradhan dr tonia l watson er sathe tini bolchilen bangladesher onek khudro uddyokta achen jara একেবারে শূন্য থেকে শুরু করে তারা ভালো করছেন তারা দেশের অর্থনীতিতে একটা গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ভূমিকা রাখবেন তিনি অনেক গ্রাম ঘুরেছেন গ্রামের মানুষের সাথে কথা বলেছেন বাংলাদেশের মানুষের আতিথেয়তা এবং আন্তরিকতা তাকে অভিভূত করেছে বাংলাদেশের মশলাযুক্ত ঝাল খাবারও মিষ্টিও তার অনেক পছন্দ বাংলাদেশের মানুষের ভালোবাসার বার্তাই তিনি পৌঁছে দিতে চান আমেরিকার মানুষের কাছে রোববার আবার দেখা হবে ভালো থাকুন সঙ্গে থাকুন দিগন্তের আল্লাহ হাফেজ